there's no question that Oscar Romero is someone uh, who was a priest we all could look up to. For Monsignor Kieran Harrington, the assassinated archbishop becomes a role model long before he even puts on his own collar. He meets the martyr as a teenager. Kieran is only 18 when he first sees the movie Romero in 1989. It's the first time he hears of the priest who's killed for helping the poor during El Salvador's bloody civil war. At the time, as a kid, who was, was fairly interested in politics and uh, certainly rabidly anti-communist, especially uh, what was going on in Latin America, being intrigued uh, by another perspective, that of the perspective of the suffering of the people. They were guaranteed safe passage. Who said? He did! I did! These people are all terrorists. The movie spread Romero's legacy even after his death, especially in the United States, where the priest was regarded as a very political person. Father Robert Lorder calls the movie a religious work of art, a film with a sort of spiritual power, transforming hearts. Anybody who sees it will get a new appreciation of the church's interest in the poor. After all, uh, we're watching a conversion ex experience. This man apparently was uh, identified with the wealthy, and then s something happened. As far as I know, it's the only film that has ever tried to film a mystical experience. There's a scene where uh, Romero is very, very discouraged. I mean, uh, everything seems to be going wrong. The, the uh, Catholics are being persecuted, and he kneels out. In, he kneels in a field, and, and he says, "I can't. You must." I'm yours. I think he's having a mystical experience, and he decides he's got he's got to go all out for the poor. And I don't know any other film that does that. Now on the eve of the Archbishop's 100th celebration, Monsignor Harrington says the world more clearly sees his mission, not a communist plot, but a plot for humanity and a model for the church. You should know that you have not suffered alone, for you are the church. The Lord takes our weaknesses and uses it for his purposes and was able to uh, make in him a great advocate for the poor. And certainly in his death, uh, he becomes an even stronger advocate, a more powerful advocate for those who are suffering. Monsignor Harrington, along with millions of other devotees, are praying that this year the Pope will canonize blessed Oscar Romero in the place where he lived and lost, El Salvador. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.